Good morning friends, hope you guys had a great time coming along with me to Dubai and as you can currently see I'm back in Melbourne and I'm on days off at the moment. I don't know if you can still hear but I still sound a little bit sick. Since I got back from Dubai I've been sick for probably almost two weeks now so it's hung around for a long time. But I'm finally getting over it, which is good. So I've been pretty busy since I got back from Dubai. With work, I've had annual recurrent training. So last week I had what we call emergency procedures, which every year we go get tested, making sure we know how to use all the emergency equipment and have some exams surrounding that. Good morning, friends. I'm not flying today, but do have something a bit more exciting? Emergency procedures exams, yay. <laughs> And in a few days time I have what we call tech refresher and human factors. So every year we go in and go over some technical aspects of the aircraft, just to sort of do a refresher course. But as you can see from the title of this video, today I am going to take you on my first photo shoot. So yeah, I am keeping pretty busy on my days off. Obviously it's the morning right now and I already sort of have taken you guys through my semi-morning routine in my video where I talked about renewing my class 1 medical. If you guys are interested in that, go check out that video after this one. But for now, let's get started. So as the title of this video says, and as I said at the start of this video, I'm taking you guys with me for my first photo shoot. So for anyone does ask, yes, I'm still a full-time pilot. Uh, obviously we do get days off and I do do quite a few things on my days off, modeling being something new. I do want to talk a bit later on in this video about maintaining the balance with your lifestyle and work and things like that. So the photo shoot isn't actually today and I didn't actually vlog the day I did the photo shoot but they were filming on the day so I did manage to get a hold of that footage. So I'm going to put together a little edit for you guys right now. Yeah, here let me break it down. Yeah, I'm gonna make it now. Give me some time and you'll see me up on stage somehow. I'm working every day. I'm working hella late. I'm working cause it's worth it. Once you make it, then you play. Y'all never slowing down. I'm gonna own this town. Live by the saying that your time is lost but never found. Let's go another round. Make them give up the crown. Nah, I ain't playing, man. I'll take it, so just give it now. Yeah, I'm gonna work hard, play hard. Yeah, I play my first card, they start. Yeah, they know I play smart, play hard. We don't have the same star, we don't have the same cards. Yeah, it's not the hand that you dealt. Nah, it's how you prove it to yourself. Nah, you don't need any wealth. You gotta live your life, work hard, and excel. Yeah, don't be looking for their help. Look inside of yourself for the wealth. Keep your mind and your body in good health. And keep working for nobody but yourself. Yeah, you can make it one day. Don't be listening what anybody say. They got the wrong state of mind, okay? Most of the time, they won't help anything. Hope you guys enjoyed that edit. So right now you may be wondering what's going on. And I've been requested a lot by you guys actually about my haircut. So I'm actually on my way to get my haircut right now. I do get it cut currently by a barber called Ryan who's with Fat Boy Hair. They're on Chapel Street which is where we're heading right now. I'll get him to explain a little bit what he does with the cut. And if you're interested, you can obviously ask your barber to do the same thing. If you're not, <laughs> that's totally fine. Feel free to skip ahead from this part of the video or just watch for some entertainment. Because as you can see right now, it's very long and it's pretty messy. Time to get this cleaned up. What up, dog? How are you, mate? Good. 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 Good.
So I'm here with Ryan from Fat Boy Hair. Oh, well, we have to shout. So I don't really know what sort of cut I get, but do you want to explain to the people? Uh, well, you know, I don't like to put too many labels on things. You know? <laughs> it's, it's part of my thing. You know, just work with the head shape, come up with it, pay close attention, and maybe, uh, you know, you can come up with something yourself. It's a personal experience, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's different, everyone's head's different, exactly. everyone's hair's different, so you know. Exactly. You've got to keep it. But I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna, we're gonna stick with the, with, with the high and tight sides. Yeah. And uh, with a little bit of a dis disconnection, and we're gonna kind of have a bit more of a pompadour shape through the back. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I'll, cool. I'll, if I, if I come up with any more information for you on the spot, I'll let you know. <laughs> right. On the sides, we get like a point five. To, yeah. To what face? Well, that's what you think. <laughs> No, no, I, was, I think I took it down to like just a little bit of a zero, just from the very bottom arc. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. We've completed the sides of that head, head, haircut. How would I explain the sides? <laughs> yeah. At the moment, we've just we've just worked with the shape of the head, so we've just tried to go as square as possible. Yeah. You can see where the head starts rounding is where your colour's starting to come through. Now we're just going to slowly blend it through the back, and I'm just going to slowly layer it up towards the middle and the top. Yeah. And uh, we'll just we'll go from there. Nice. Finished product, yeah? Oh, yes. Close. It's cut, not styled. Yeah, now we need a little bit of the flavour, some brother. I'll show you how good she looks at the end, mate. <laughs> Alright, done. So you have oh. a finished product. Look at that. Thanks. Look at that. That's good. Alright, so just to briefly go over what we've done. We've got right. a disconnected fade with a deep corner. So this stuff is not blended. We do have a back corner here we're blending into. It's disconnected through the front. It's very long. When that corner sits up, all the rest of the length falls into it. It looks blended. Lovely! Fade out of 10? 10. <laughs> so this is a store as well. That's six to sell. Killed it. So they're only here until 9th, 9th of October. Yeah. Get in quick. You just feels so much cleaner, so much better after a fresh fade, you know what I mean? So now. <coughs> oh. Now I am actually running a little bit late for a meeting that I'm uh, meant to be at in 15 minutes, and I'm probably about 20 minutes away, so. Need to get moving. This isn't really going to be very interesting vlogging the meeting, so. Yeah, I'll catch you after. Meeting done, but as you can see, it is such a nice day here in Melbourne, Australia. And I know a lot of you guys actually aren't from Melbourne. So I thought now would be a good time to actually get the drone out and show you guys the city from the air. So, time to fly. If you guys enjoyed that, that was a bit of Melbourne from the sky. Not very high, obviously. Now, I seem to have done a lot of upper body workouts on my channel. So today, I'm gonna do a lower body workout, aka legs. <laughs> Time to get out of the city and head to the gym. And Melbourne has turned out to be an unreal day. It's like probably mid-20s, 25, 24 degrees Celsius. And on screen right now, this will be what it is in Fahrenheit. You saw me grab this morning a protein shake pre-made, so this is great when I'm on the road. I'm just gonna have that now, and then we're gonna have a little bit of a chat before we head into the gym. So it was such a nice day, I just decided to pull over before the gym, uh, make a pre-workout, start sipping on this, and I want to give you guys a little bit of an update and answer some common questions I'm getting asked. Kind of like almost an impromptu q and I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on some stuff. Let you guys know what's going on. So a lot of you guys ask about maintaining relationships with flying, so being friends, family, girlfriend, that sort of thing. So at the moment I currently am single, so I haven't actually had a girlfriend while I've been a pilot. In relation to that, I think when it does happen it actually will be a good thing 
that I'll get into a relationship while I am flying because they'll be used to my lifestyle basically from the start and understand that I go away for a few days at a time and then a few days off. So I know plenty of pilots that have girlfriends, wives, kids, all that sort of stuff. I 100% think it's maintainable uh, and achievable. Majority of other pilots I fly with already have a family, girlfriend, whatever it may be. For you, those of you that ask me about that and ask me to be worried about that, don't worry about it. I believe everything happens for a reason at the right time and place. So when it is right, it will happen. Uh, I just wouldn't stress about it. Another common question I get asked about is how I maintain fitness and traveling. How's the wind noise? I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> so maintaining fitness and stuff while traveling and flying, it is something else I want to talk about on this channel and show you guys that 100% is achievable. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it kind of comes down to motivation because of course, like when you get into a destination and you've just been flying for however long, you know, eight, 10 hours, whatever it may be, you want to sleep and don't get me wrong, like I get in and I do sleep for a few hours, but I then get up and one of the first things I do is go to the gym um, because so sort of the longer you leave it, obviously the day's going to get on, the less time you have before you have to try and get back to sleep before you fly again. But I guess motivation may sort of deteriorate throughout the day as well. You get caught up doing things, things like that. So yeah, um, whenever I travel, I'm pretty lucky. Like most of the hotels we go to on the network that I fly has really good gym. So I'm very lucky in that regards that is the case in saying that I've been to One or two destinations that literally don't even have a gym at the hotel if I know I'm going to a place that doesn't have a gym I try to structure my week in terms of working out around that So I try to make a rest day fall on the day that I'm actually going to be overseas I don't know I've been doing it for so long it kind of just becomes a habit and like part of your daily routine like I've said and talked about on posts and videos before, I actually find the gym a really good time to sort of switch off. Sometimes I do train with friends and mates and stuff, especially when I am home. But most of the time, I just go to the gym by myself, put headphones in, switch off to everything else that's going on, which I find really good. I even did this during training, um, which I found really helpful. Like training obviously is pretty stressful. Um, there's a lot of exams, tests, you know, flights you gotta do and pass and checks and all that stuff. So I found the gym to be quite a big stress reliever for that. You know, just going and picking up heavy things and putting them back down, funny enough, is actually a pretty big stress reliever. I don't do cardio that often, but you know, if you like doing cardio, again, it's a good time to switch off. And I guess to give you maybe a little bit of a life update on other things that's going on with me, as you guys have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, follow me on Instagram here, at Nick Priest, <laughs> shameless plug. So on days off and stuff, I actually keep quite busy. So as I sort of said earlier on in this video, apart from flying, I do enjoy making YouTube videos, obviously. And then, yeah, I've actually, as you guys have seen from the title of this video and the beginning of this video, I've started doing some modeling work. Only if the shoots happen to fall on days off, to be honest. Flying internationally, it kind of works out pretty well. I typically go away for a few days and then I'm home for a few days. So if your shoot happens to fall on a day off, then yeah, I've been able to do it. Flying is my full-time job in my career. So the modeling agency I'm with, we understand that and get that, so yeah. I'm also currently an ambassador with Optimum Nutrition, so I do some work with them. It's pretty good, again, it's pretty flexible, so whenever I have days off, I can organize uh, to do things with that. So yeah, if anyone that is wondering, all the supplements I use are Optimum Nutrition. In saying that, 100%, I agree that supplements are a supplement. So your diet first and foremost needs to be in check as well as your training routine, but then supplements obviously can help. But if they're gonna make a 1% or a half percent difference to your training or physique, whatever your goal is, then why not take them, you know what I mean? Being 25, I say it almost every post, I'm very blessed to be in the position I am at this age. Uh, I absolutely don't take it for granted. I love what I do and I see myself doing it for the rest of my life, to be honest with you. So yeah. I guess a little bit of a life update, it's all going well. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support and you guys coming on this journey with me. I don't take that for granted again. It's time to finish the free workouts and go train legs. In saying that again, a lot of you guys ask me about my actual workout routine. I don't have it written down. I've just sort of found what works best for me over the past few years. And yeah, as you guys know, I'm currently doing an upper, lower, upper, lower, upper split. I seem to a lot of people asking about the actual specific workout I do. So yeah, I'm gonna endeavor to get that down on the paper for you guys and then get that out so you guys can actually follow along with that if you guys want to. But yeah, everything's going well. Let's give you a little bit of an update. Sit down and talk to you guys. Time to head to the gym. And of course, you guys know I can't work out in this, so time to get changed. Changed, time to train.
Alright, gym session done. Time to head home. And I'm home. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you for coming along. So I just want to let you guys know that there may be a delay in the next video. As being a second officer, we have recurrent simulator checks every three months. So mine is just coming up. So I'm going to have to do some study and focus on that. So I'm going to have to take a little bit of a break from YouTube. Uh, just the editing of these videos does take a bit of time. So yeah, this video uh, between this one and the next one, maybe a week, um, maybe a little bit longer than a week, but yeah, bear with me. I'm going to do my best to keep up with videos and keep them consistent as best I can. So yeah, after Tech Refresher and Human Factors recurrent training tomorrow, I have a bit of training all happening. Seems to happen all around at the same time for me. Um, September, October was kind of a busy period for me with flying and checks and exams and all that stuff. Yeah, after that, I then go to Sydney Friday and then fly out of Sydney Saturday. And after that, as promised in my Q&A video, I'm going to vlog a Phuket trip for you. So if you want to be the first to be notified when videos come out, just hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. And if you guys have liked today's video, give it a thumbs up for me. Last but not least, you guys know that I always rock Tay Rock watches. So I want to give a shout out to them. This was today's watch. So if you guys are after a new watch, as always, there is a link in my description box down below. And if you use Nick 10, that will save you 10% on checkouts. And they've also just launched a women's line. So male or female, if you are after a new watch, click on the link and use Nick 10 and that will save you 10% on a T-Rock watch. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. And thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. But most of all, thank you guys for watching today. And I will see you next time.